Hello everybody, my name is Dick Clark and I am a manager with Ide Bailey's Technology Consulting Group and today I am going to show you how to personalize a dashboard in NetSuite. And we'll talk about the basic elements of what dashboards contain, where they're located, and how they are determined by the role that your user login uh, is assigned to. So. We're going to start off today and, and talk about how to, um, first of all, navigate to the dashboard itself. So this is a test environment that you see here up in front uh, of the screen. Um, you'll notice up here at the top, um, I am logged in as Larry Nelson of the fake McGreever company as an administrator. So I have, I've logged in and this is the dashboard that I'm presented with. Uh, this this is a dashboard that either came out of the box when um, NetSuite was installed or it was something that uh, an administrator had created and published out to me as uh, in this particular role. So if you'll notice, um, the, the layout here and, and the, the different um, portlets that, that have been created for this dashboard uh, and how they change if we come and go down to, say, our McGreever sales rep in the US West. So if I select that role, now my dashboard is, is laid out differently. It contains different elements, uh, even a different color scheme. So the, it's something to keep in mind as you are um, getting into NetSuite and, and perhaps have multiple roles assigned to your particular user login, that um, these dashboards are, are very much tied to the role that you are uh, logged into. Um, so you can customize these dashboards very easily um, by coming up here to the personalize button up here at the top. And so once you click on that, you're going to be presented with all the different options of what are called portlets to add to this dashboard. So first of all, let's go back and collapse this and just show you what, what is considered a portlet. So right here with the blue bar, um, everything in this uh, particular area here is, is what is the new, re excuse me, new release portlet. Um, if I click on that blue bar, it will collapse so I can get more uh, real estate here and see different portlets that may be more important to me. If I click on the blue bar, it will re-expand that particular portlet. Um, the, the layouts can also be uh, changed if that's something that you would like to see a different layout. So this particular one has a, a smaller area on the left and a larger one on the right. Um, if we um, for example, select this one with the two small areas on the sides and one in the middle, or the larger one in the middle, uh, you know, it creates that space over here on the right. And um, these portlets are very easily dragged and dropped around the screen um, to, to give you um, however much visibility you need. So, for example, if I wanted my top five sales reps by sales portlet up here at the top, I could just pull that over and release it and it will stay there um, until I either change the layout, collapse it, or remove it. So you can see that um, the, the dashboards have been created for a lot of flexibility uh, to give you the, the information that you need to see as an end user um, daily as you log into NetSuite and, and very easily access that data. So, um, again, there's a couple different layouts to choose from, um, and then you can also uh, start to add or remove portlets from there. Um, once you expand this personalized tab, um, there's three main sections of portlets that you can add. So there's standard content, report snapshots, and trend graphs. We won't get into suite apps today. That's a, that will be a, a subsequent video. Um, for more for administrator roles, um, but these three definitely will apply to us as end users. So you'll notice that there are five calendar portlets here. 
So just to add a portlet, if you hover over one of them, the green plus button comes up. If I click the green plus button, it will add that portlet just anywhere visible, you know, the first slot that it finds available. Um, you can, however, like now that you see that instead of five calendars, I have four available. So if I wanted to add a different calendar, I could take and drag this down to the, you know, a slot over here on the right. If that will fit. And then that takes my five calendar options down to three. And, um, you know, again, these can be collapsed just by simply clicking on the blue bar and then re-expanding them if um, I want to see what's in it. Um, after you add a portlet up here in the bar, you'll notice that there's a refresh button and then this, this other options button that, depending on the type of portlet that you've selected, will give you different options. Most of them will have a setup and then some of some of which will have print or you can remove that portlet as long as you have the permissions to do that. So as, just as easily as we added it, we can come and hit remove and that portlet goes away. So you can see how easy it is to add elements to your dashboards and rearrange those uh, to your to your liking. So again, after we've added, let's let's add a different portlet here up in the standard content, for example, like a list. Um, so again, we're just going to pull that list over and set it right under my top five sales reps. And it says that the portlet is not set up. So we come back over here to this options um, little hamburger menu and click setup. And because this is a list, it will give me just a few different uh, options to um, choose from. And, and basically, it, it just wants me to choose the list that I want to see and how many results, and if I can allow inline editing. So these lists are created separately, um, uh, either because they were installed out of the box or either an administrator or myself, I had gone and created a list specifically of items that I wanted to see. Um, and then they would be uh, able to be selected here in the portlet. So for example, if I wanted to see a list of cases, I could come and click the case, and we'll say that we want to see a result size of 10, and click Save. So now I have a very easy, easily accessible list of the cases in NetSuite, that then I can start to filter down according to different parameters. So, for example, in this list, I can I can set a stage to open and it will just automatically refresh and give me real time data um, that, you know, is, is pulling from the, the database itself. Um, we can change all these filters. We can change the views and quick sorts. Um, you know, you can see how how easy that is to add a cases list to a dashboard um, and and that goes for most of the standard content here um, custom portlets will be another video that we can get into uh, a little further down the road um, because they take a little bit more setup but uh, basically um, the standard content is what it's it says it is it's it is standard content that is basically um, either out of the box or very easily customized or added in NetSuite. So the next uh, section we have over here is a report snapshot. So these are exactly what you would think they are. Um, they, they are small sections of reports that have been either previously created by an administrator or by us, similarly to the lists, um, but if we go ahead and add, let's go ahead and remove this cases one. And we'll pull this report snapshot portlet over down underneath and set this up as well. So you'll notice that the, the setup options for the report snapshots are a little bit different. So when I click on the setup, now it's going to give me a list of the reports available to me. Um, that's basically what the snapshot means. 
Uh, instead of running a full report, it's just going to pull that report based on the parameters that we give it. Uh, and you'll notice that just out of the box, there are quite a few reports that we uh, have access to. Um, we'll go ahead and click Open Opportunities for now. And then we can give it a, a default chart type of column, line, bar, and pie. Um, these, as you'll notice too, um, once we set these up initially, um, they can be easily changed with ha without having to come back into the report options, but can be changed right there in the portlet as well. Um, so we can give it a date range. We'll go ahead and say maybe go back to, um, let's say, 60 days ago. Uh, and we want to leave it as a graph. We also have the option to display it as a list, uh, but in this case, I would like to see it graphically. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and leave the display and the rest of the defaults the, uh, as they are. So we'll go ahead and click Save. And again, there's no content because apparently in this particular one, um, there weren't any uh, top five open opportunities. So we'll say um, maybe last year, see if there's anything in there for that. But So last year there was one opportunity um, that fit this criteria and uh, now it's displayed graphically here. Um, if I want to drill down into this, I can hit right click. I'm sorry, um, actually just if I click into this bar, um, it will take me to the opportunity record inside of, of NetSuite to give me the details on what that is. So while my uh, computer's thinking a little bit, uh, so you'll notice that this is the opportunity record itself and we can dive into all of the details about what that uh, opportunity contained. So we'll just go back here um, and you know, again, this it takes us right back to the dashboard where we've added our calendar. We've added this new report snapshot. And we'll go ahead and just collapse this new release to see some leads, maybe my opportunities, etc. So with the uh, come back up to the personalized piece. So that was the report snapshots. Um, there's, you know, again, in a subsequent video, we'll talk more about creating custom reports. Um, and, and how to add those to dashboard elements. Um, but for now, we'll just stick to personalizing um, the dashboards with the elements that we have av available to us. So with standard content and report snapshots, we can also add trend graphs. So we'll go ahead and collapse both of these and add our trend graph and set that up just like we've done with the other portlets. And you'll notice that in this particular option or this this hamburger menu here, we've got the setup, but we also have the print option and then we can export these trend graphs into different images or PDFs. So it gives us a little bit more um, functionality here uh, for a trend graph. But when we set it up, um, we now instead of reports, we're dealing with um, key performance indicators or KPIs. So, uh, you know, You've got different default chart types again, just like with the re with the reports. We'll leave that area, and then we will select from uh, you know basically one of the KPIs that is already out of the box for us. Um, we'll stick with new or open cases, and we want to see a trend of monthly as opposed to uh, one of the other options of daily, weekly, quarterly, or yearly. We'll stick to monthly. You can um, uncheck this to not have the moving average overlay, uh, or we'll just leave it checked to show you what that looks like. Um, and then there's several other um, uh, factors that you can plot out on this trend graph as well, um, based on what you're trying to uh, look for. So we'll just leave these um, as the defaults and click OK. Not much in the um, in the the test database as far as cases go, as you can see. Um, but uh, the nice thing is, is we can up on the fly just change these um, the chart types. So back to bars or um, the uh, the area graphs, 
And then we can also do comparative analysis uh, if we want to do that as well, um, all based on whatever the, uh, the time period is. So if we say yearly, um, we can just change it right there on the fly and it will give us the um, both open cases and moving averages based on the KPI that we selected. Uh, so again, the, you can see that um, uh, personalizing dashboards is, is very simple uh, in NetSuite. It gives you a lot of flexibility to um, make these dashboards work for you as an end user um, and, and hopefully helps you get all of the, um, the good stuff, the good data out of the system that you need to uh, help make your um, experience uh, more pleasant and more efficient. So that was the, um, the how-to on personalizing dashboards for today. We appreciate you all tuning in and, and checking us out. If you need help with anything, please feel free to click on the link below, and uh, we would love to help you out, and we'll talk to you soon. Mm -hmm.